Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Miguel Wants to Fight. A very strange movie about a kid who's never been in a fight in his life. And is, um, his fa he's 17. His family's about to move to the big city. And so he asks his friends to help him get into a fight so he can learn how to fight. Smash the like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books 1 through 11, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. Uh, I kind of like the premise of the movie. Uh, Miguel is sort of a nice guy. He's never been in a fight, and I guess he feels the need to get into a fight in order to, like, you know, it's kind of like a coming-of-age thing. <laughs> So there's a lot of weird parody scenes of like Bruce Lee and uh, anime and tries to start a fight with this dude, but he's got a broken arm, so he can't do that. And so his friends are trying to help him, but no matter what he does, it doesn't seem to work. He punches a teacher by accident. That's that's an old uh, urban legend. I, I don't know if it's an urban legend. It's true. I've, I've known kids who have done that. I think it just happens. Um, Another guy here who's way too, way too good at fighting. So, uh, it looks fun. It's a, it's a little scattered. Um, I like the title a lot. Miguel wants to fight. And, uh, here, here the girl's like, here, just go up to that dude and read this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And then he goes up to him, and the guy's really nice, and asks him, "Oh, could you hand me the, hand me that cereal up there? Thank you so much." So it's only on Hulu. Yeah, it looks fun. It kind of reminds me of like a Disney movie in a lot of ways, because it seems very wholesome, uh, in a lot of respects. Like Miguel, here he is, <laughs> here he is punching the teacher by mistake. Um, Miguel is just kind of a hapless character who can't seem to get a break. And uh, and I like that it just focuses on this one single aspect of his life. You know, it's not about him getting girls necessarily, although that might be in the mix. It's always in a high school drama or high school. It's not a drama or comedy or whatever. Um, so yeah, I think it could be fun. It would definitely have to be short. At first, I thought maybe it's a TV series, kind of the way it rolled out, but nah, it's a movie. I checked on the IMDb. Um, so, you know, this looks like a fun movie that you'd see in the theaters back in the day when movies were more popular. These days, it feels more like something you'd stream. Something that would be like a low-key, you know, wouldn't have a super big budget. And they just knock this thing out in a couple of months, and uh, but it seems to have a lot of a lot of cartoon segues and weird effects like that, weird costume changes and whatnot. They're trying to, I think they're trying to make it kind of high value a piece. Um, let's read the write up. Is there a write up on this? Have you ever seen a kid learn to fight? Stream. Miguel wants to fight on August 16th. Well, that's not much of a write-up. I think you got to add more of a write-up here. Um, first act, Miguel finds out his family... Miguel is having his life. Seems all good. But then he finds out his family's moving. And he's never been in a fight. And for some reason, that's important to him. Uh, you know, for to be a man or whatever. So he figures... That if he gets into a fight uh, before he leaves, you know, his family will be in a city or whatever. It, it won't be like an ongoing thing. I think that's kind of maybe the, 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 the gist of it. Like he wants to do the fight before he leaves so he can be prepared for the big city where he'll probably get in the fights. And he won't have to deal with the fallout from the fight because he'll be gone. So that makes sense. Uh, so his friends try to train him and try to, try to get him ready. There's this funny scene where like, you know what your problem is? You haven't, you haven't taken a punch. And a girl just like, wait, <laughs> hits him. And she's like, he's like, oh, what are you doing? 
<laughs> there, now you've been punched. Now you're not afraid. And he's still kind of afraid. So uh, I kind of like the whole thing that Miguel's too nice of a guy, really. It's really hard for him to get into a fight um, because it's not, you know, they're not trying to make a big statement or anything. It's just kind of a fun character thing. And he's a nice guy. He just uh, he just doesn't get into fights. He's agreeable, let's say. Um, so the third act, I think it could go a couple of different ways. The funniest thing would be he finally gets into a fight and he's such a huge rivalry with some guy, but he's not worried about it because his family's moving. And then his family comes to him and says, oh, sorry, Miguel, looks like we're not going to move. You wanted to stay here anyway with your friends, so looks like we're going to stay. And now he's now he's screwed. <laughs> now he's kind of screwed because now he's got this thing. Or maybe he has the fight with one guy and now there's rumors that i don't know his older brother is going to just like absolutely destroy him but he doesn't care because he's he's supposed to move like next week and then they they drop that on him something like that something that like now he's maybe it'll be part of the plot like the third act will be the final final fight where he has to fight this guy and he there's no way he's gonna win um so, yeah, I kind of think the family doesn't move at the end, but they might. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of a indie-ish movie on, I guess not because it's Hulu. I guess it could be Disney. I mean, it feels like a Disney flick, like an old one, you know, when they were still wholesome. I mean, the, the cast is diverse, but so what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to this particular story. There's no... See, like, this is the kind of stuff you can do new, woke morons. Because there's no, there's no history here for you to ruin. It's just a high school movie. You just cast a bunch of actors of various different races. So what? They, there are the schools are like that. They're integrated. In case you didn't know. <laughs> um. So uh, yeah, this is perfectly functional. I would totally see this if I, I don't have Hulu. I wouldn't get Hulu because it was free. I remember when it was free. But if it showed up on a streaming platform, I'd have access to it. I might watch it. It looks fun. Yeah, it looks fun and funny, and yeah, it's coming of age. I, th I think it could do a lot worse from what I'm seeing here. And that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble. Rumble went down. I haven't been able to upload today, but I'm sure it'll be back up later. Uh, check me out in Bordentown at the uh, Bordentown Library on Saturday at 2 p.m. for my talk on how to hunt the Jersey Devil. Uh, speaking of talks, um, August, I'm doing LBI Book Swap on August 5th. Uh, I'm doing something else on the 8th, but the big news is on the 10th, I'm doing the New Jersey State Library Zoom call. Now, you can register for the Zoom call. I posted the link. Uh, the link is below you got to go to my website where all my signings are uh, but you can now register for the talk so if you're outside the state of New Jersey and you want to see my Jersey Devil talk this is your chance and that's it hope to see you later we'll see you